I'll be talking about entry into universities and its diverse pathway, as well as recognition of pilot learning and a little bit of scholarship. First, how to get into universities. Gaining admissions to university is a competitive process. We all know that. Um, they take, it, it take into consideration of your aptitude and also the qualification that you have undertaken. There are two main pathways of getting entry into Macquarie University. One is applied directly to the university, or you can apply it via University Admission Center. It's also known as UAC or UAC. When you, when you apply via UAC, your applications will be assessed um, and provide with the rank. All the studies that you have undertake, such as secondary study, which means HSC results, um, high school from other states, and also the tertiary study, which is um, TAFE diploma, previous bachelor degrees. If you think your secondary studies, which is not high enough or competitive enough for, for getting entry into the program that you most prefer, you may also consider um, taking the STAT test, which is known as um, Special Tertiary Emissions Test. It is an aptitude test that for you to demonstrate that you're ready to commit to Macquarie Studies. The STAT test is administrated by univers uh, University's Emissions Center, also known as UAC. So if you want to know more information about that, you can visit their website. Um, they have the specific information of test dates and test place. I have also listed a few pointers for you if you apply via UAC. UAC allows each candidate to list up to nine preferences. So you need to use your preference wisely. The top, uh, first preference or the top preferences should always be the one that you most prefer. As you go along, along your preference list, you also want to include the degree that you're sure you're going to get in. And how to make sure that you will get in, you can go visit Macquarie website um, to check last year's rank. So that gives you a kind of a reference point so you know by at your preference nine or eight, you know that degree, you're going to get it. And the university is making offer to all the non-current school leaver in the early offer round. So there will be one offer round actually announced tomorrow. So if you have applied, um, you can go log in, check and change, see if you got received an offer. And Macquarie also consider if you have listed your preference in a consecutive order. So that means it lists us as one, two, three, four. We will look at one to four. And we'll see which one that you fit in into our program. So application is currently open. And if you really want to get a chance to get into, uh, receive an offer in the early round, I'll suggest you to lodge the application now. Finally, UAC, as we all know, UAC has kept a strict deadline of the closing date and also the change preference date. I will not elaborate more here in, in tonight, but all the information are available on UAC website. So each round, they'll have a specific date of when do you need to change your preference by, when will they offer issue, and you know, if you know you haven't lodged it, when is the next round that you're expecting your offer? Macquarie offers diverse range of um, pathway entry into the university. I have only listed a few here that I will include in tonight's presentation. However, there are still more out there that you can discover about. So um, please come and have a chat with us because each of you might have a different study background, different situation. We will be able to provide you with a different um, um, and so that any information that more suitable for you. Let me start with our first pathway, which is called Mature Age Jubilee. This is for applicants who has not obtained any university level degree studies, and also you are above 21 years of age. The application is assessed 
based on your personal statement. So you will want to include why do you want to study, what is the evidence that you can demonstrate you are committed for your academic, um, acad academic studies here with Macquarie. The statement, uh, the personal statement is the determination for you to gain entry into the Macquarie University. So I would suggest prepare at the best you can. This pathway only offers entry into three programs. However, as Janet mentioned earlier, there is a flexibility of moving around programs. I will talk about um, course transfer later in my presentation. The application closed on 5th of November, which is Wednesday in two weeks time. So if you f uh, fit into this category and you have yet to apply, please visit our website and prepare all the evidence and the lodge application as soon as you can. The second pathway is next step. It is a great pathway that offered to you to study Macquarie subject directly. You can choose the subject that the units that um, you, and study alone with all the other university students. So you won't differentiate you from next step or your normal uh, degree students. And the units that you have undertaken in the next step studies will be recognized towards your Macquarie degree. This pathway offers you entry into 17 Macquarie degree subject you're meeting all the um, entry GPA requirements. Application is open via Center of Open Education. They are here present tonight, so if you would like to know more about this study option, I suggest you to approach to them and then to find out more. The next one is Open University Australia. Open University Australia offers the distance study options. So if you have commitment, commitment at work or family or any other you know, priority in your life that you may consider to undertake Macquarie studies via these options because it's the distance studies. And, um, all the st and this also allows you to transfer into Macquarie degrees. So I have listed on the slides that you will be able to visit on their website to find out more. There's the degree options that we can offer. The next one is SIBT, or we also know, also known as Sydney Institute of Business and Technology. SIBT offers foundation studies, which is also known as preparation course that for you to prepare you to get into uh, university degree. And it also offers diploma and advanced diploma degree. Completed a diploma or advanced diploma studies with the required GPA, you will be able to gain entry into university. The credits or the studies that you have undertaken in the diploma or advanced diploma studies um, will count towards to your master degree, um, sorry, Macquarie degree. SIBT is also one of our, um, present tonight in one of our information booths. If you want to know more options, please approach them. Internal degree transfer, also known as course transfer. So Macquarie has the flexibility of you moving around degree to degree as you go along with your studies. So, as I mentioned earlier in the uh, mature age, it only offers limited entry to the program. So if you enter into those degree, achieve the good grades, you can still transfer to the degree that you most prefer. For example, you get into Bachelor of Arts. You study hard, get your grade, meet the transfer GPA, you can still do Bachelor of Media, for example. That's the course that you mostly prefer. So, and so that also goes back, if you have, in, within your preferences, if you have received an offer that which is not your most highly preferred, you can, I would suggest, recommend you to still take up that offer because the flexibility that Macquarie offers, you can still move alone and then study the most preferred degree. 
Cost transfer information is also available on Macquarie website. However, it will be available around November's time. So if you are interested in these options in the previous pathway, but you know you're looking for to transfer course, you can visit that website and see what you need to achieve, what you need to undertake. And as you all are non-current school leaver, you might have some studies which you take in TAFE or in university. So you would want to know if that will count towards your Macquarie degree. Recognize of prior learning, we also, we, we call it RPL. This is also previously known as credit for previous studies. It has, it consists with three parts. One is the formal learning, it's also called, uh, known as credit transfer which will transfer the studies that you have undertaken, such as TAFE diploma, university level, and it'll count towards your degree. From 2015 onwards, university also recognize non-formal learning and informal learning. Non-formal learning is, means the study that you have undertaken but does not lead you to a degree. For example, in complete diploma studies. You have, studied, you have started your uh, diploma, but for some reason you are not able to complete, but you have demonstrated that you have few units. Informal learning is recognizing your life work experience. So some people might have worked in a special field that look after technology for 10 years. University may consider looking into that as well. So that means all the credits are given to you will count towards your Macquarie degree. And if you've been granted with your credits, that means you may be completing your degree faster or earlier than you expected. If you are interested to know more about RPL or see if you are eligible for RPLs, you can please see our student, um, future student advisor today on present or the Student Connect booth that they will provide you more details. Last but not the least is scholarship. Macquarie does offer a wide range of scholarship. As a non-current school leaver, there is one called mature, mature age non-current school leaver scholarship may be suitable for you. It's suitable for, um, so it offers about 5,000 per year and up to what, uh, four years of your studies. Scholarship are also present tonight, so they will have more information about what we have offered other than this may be suitable for you or um, any other, depends on your study background, please have a chat with them, they will be able to talk to you about more. One point about this is application for the um, scholarship, if you want to be considered for the main round, close early, so please check those dates if you, want, if you lodge the application. That's wrap up my presentation tonight. However, if you have any further question about admission into the university, RPL, you know, scholarships, you can please come to contact Student Connect or send us an online request. Our staff will attend to that. Thank you very much.